your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit Podcast. You understands me. Y'all seen that long ass interview that WAC 100 did with Takashi, right? I didn't. But I'm sure y'all did. And shit. I don't really watch too much shit on it. It's, mu- it's motherfucking, uh, it's entertaining and as animated as this motherfucker is. Make you on watch him and shit. We already know what he done. You the feel me? So, you know, that brings me to my point that this not the era we grew up in. So, niggas all on niggas' tops and shit and, 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 and wondering why these niggas still living and, and still doing music and still getting shows and all that shit. All right, they showing you what's going on. We not in the same era. All eras change. When we was little listening to our shit, our mothers and fathers thought that shit was crazy. Boy, 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 boy pull your pants up and all that shit. It's a whole new era. Niggas wearing tight clothes. You know, feel me? Niggas putting their business out there when we used to motherfucking, you know, try to duck the camera and all that shit. You feel me? And niggas ain't condone that snitching shit. You know, feel me? Like, I ain't saying niggas wasn't never snitching, but it's an all time high in snitching nowadays and shit. Don't be no motherfucking consequences or repercussions. So, why would the fuck I give a fuck about telling? You know, feel me? If ain't nothing happening to motherfuckers that's telling. Like, that's just common sense. If niggas getting away with it, and niggas doing better, niggas ended up better off, you know, feel me? Then when the fuck, before they told, why the fuck is I ain't going to tell? That's how the new people think. That's how the new younger generation think. Some of them, definitely not all of them. So let me clear that up right there. Because Bobby Schmurder told us that ain't the key. You know, feel me? Boosie showed us that ain't the key. You know, feel me? couple other gangsters niggas king von rest in peace to him dirt niggas like that niggas kept their mouth shut niggas do gangster shit you know feel me and motherfucking be ready to accept that time you stayed solid and made it out you know feel me stayed solid and made it out most niggas that stay solid you know feel me die a chance of making it out because anything can happen in the case a motherfucker that's ready to can just die and they sleep and shit now they ain't got no motherfucking witness or nothing so you're always supposed to keep it solid man you know, feel me? You know, if you're into that gangster shit, you know it's a possibility you might do time. So when that possibility happen, you gotta stay silent because that ain't the end. That don't mean it's the end. Everything over because you get locked up. Niggas been giving time. Niggas be giving time back. No snitch. You dig? And niggas that snitch still be doing twenty years and all this type shit. So think about it. You dig? So before you want to get in that gangster shit, that's all I'm saying. Like new generation and shit. It's like 60, 40, 40 solid, 35 solid, 65, you know, feel me, just on some whole new shit, you know, feel me. So, I guess, so snitching supposed to be, ratting supposed to be, <clears throat> when you doing business with a nigga, illegal business with a nigga, you know, feel me, you get bagged on your end and you throw the other nigga under the bus, you know, feel me, when he ain't really had to be through under the bus. This nigga might be on the east side. You on the west side. Y'all just parted it up. Y'all come together, me break bread at the table in the middle. Mutual ground. You get popped over east. And you throw the nigga from over the west under the bus. What you talking about? Well, my partner. But, but, no, nah, you ain't supposed to do that. That's right. Snitching is just not minding your business. Snitching is like, all right, you not doing business with a motherfucker. You know, feel me? But you seen a motherfucker shoot somebody and all that shit, and you giving statements and point, yeah, yeah, such and such did it and all that, you ain't minding your business. You know, feel me? That's snitching. You know, feel me? And, uh, statements and shit, you know, feel me, can be considered snitching. You know, feel me? If you're a hood gangster nigga pulled to be going by the street rules, like if somebody shot your brother or some shit like that, most, like, most normal motherfuckers, citizens, civilians, Going to make that statement, what they seen, what they know. You know, feel me? You're a gangster, nigga. you supposed to keep that shit in the street. If you know the answer to who did it, them motherfuckers supposed to be the next motherfuckers, you know what I mean, going down to the motherfucking corner joint. You dig what I'm saying? That's what I guess they mean, you know, feel me? Anything above that, you out of order. They saying civilian snitch now. I guess if you just don't mind your motherfucking business, I guess if something happened to you, I don't even know. I'm confused. You know, feel me? I'm confused about that shit. That's how I know I'm getting old. You know, feel me? That's why I do all my entrepreneurial shit. Fuck these streets. 
You to feel me? I live a gangster life. I ain't got to be a gangster. I live a gangster life. All gangster shit go on around it. You to feel me? So it is what it is, man. I just wanted to touch on that joint because I'm noticing this. You to feel me? You got to ask yourself. Why is these motherfuckers not tripping about this shit? Because listen, man. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers is definitely you got to watch out these days because motherfuckers ain't tripping about another nigga snitching. So you might think they going to snitch. I'm thinking they telling. Too, if you condone the shit, I done cut off hella long time hood homies behind the rattery game and shit because these niggas can't keep it solid. They do the crime but don't want to do the time. You know, feel me? They on some shit like how motherfucking Cameron was on Payton Four when he was playing Elpo and shit. He say he ain't gonna tell on nobody that he with. Or like how you say he ain't gonna tell nobody home. I think some niggas be like, all right, if I don't tell on my homeboys, I can still get a pass and shit. If I tell on somebody that I don't know and I know, nigga, you tell it. Now we see you got it in you, nigga. As soon as your ass up against the wall, your back against that wall and shit, you know what I mean? And you start thinking about motherfuckers who you can tell on. I don't want to be on that list, you know what I mean? So motherfuckers be forced to just cut you off, nigga. If we in these streets, you know what I mean? And we doing shit we ain't got no business doing. No matter how much I fuck with you, how much I love you, nigga, you in violation now. You may drop the motherfucking uh, LOC or something. You might come in with the wire. I don't know. That's how niggas think. When you get that rat, when you get that situation going on, when you get that rat situation going on, when you get that informant situation going on, when you get that snitch situation going on, when you get that tattletale situation. See, you, you feel me? Your parents told you stop being tattletales when you was little. They was contradictory and shit, though. If it, ain't, if it wasn't nothing serious, they'd tell you stop being tattletale. But if it was something serious, they'd be like, yo, you ain't tattletale if it's something that's helping somebody out. So, you know what I mean? But when you in them streets, nigga, you know the difference, nigga. You know what I mean? You don't tell. That's it. You don't tell. If you know you can't do the time, just don't do the crime. It's another way to make a dime instead of dropping the motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying this shit, man. Because that ain't the way to go. You out here sabotaging, fucking up niggas' network. You fucking up niggas' 500 companies. You fucking up a nigga uh, establishment. You fucking up a nigga about a fucking situation. Because you can't stay silent. You took a stumble and can't keep it humble. You hear me? So that's what I'm saying, man. Niggas try motherfucking throw you under the bus with them. But I wasn't the only one. Boop, 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 boop. What type shit is that, Jack? Niggas got to keep it solid. That's why you just got to move in silence. Roll solo dolo from state to state and all that type shit. And you ain't got to worry about nobody telling on you. And you won't have nobody to tell on unless you's a dirty nigga going to go fuck up all nigga establishment all the way across town. Ain't got nothing to do with nothing you doings. The fuck type shit is that? You ain't jet. You the feel me? It's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle, man. We got to restore some order out this motherfucker. It's going crazy out here, man. What is really going on? You know, feel me? Everybody mad at Wack 100 and shit. Because this nigga did a long-ass interview with this nigga, Takashi 6 9 and shit. And this nigga, listen, man. I just be mad at shit. This nigga still motherfucking loud and loud. And boy, you done told. We understand why you say you told, but nigga, you told. Nigga, there ain't really no condoning that shit. You know, feel me? They definitely did you dirty, you feel me? But it wasn't the right decision from the whole jump for pulling you in, period. I knew this was going to happen. I never liked the music. I was looking at all the interviews and shit, but I ain't like the music. And everybody like, yo, you be rocking with the red team more than anybody else and shit. Why you don't fuck with boy? I say, because what, what motherfucking blood you know look like that anywhere? Anywhere. Fuck is the fuck is a pit blood set? You feel me? Fuck is the Bobby blood set? You know, feel me? Because that nigga, like, he pulled the bit in the Bobby blood set. You know, feel me? No bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga pulled the bit in the motherfucking. I don't know, bro. You know, feel me? And, you know what I mean? They pulled a bit. You know what I mean? They should have just been getting money. Like, if they wouldn't have been greedy or that type shit, I believe. These niggas, all of them would have been so rich right now, man. All of them would have been so rich. My man was definitely the hottest thing smoking at one point. And that money was raised start rolling in when that album dropped. Boy, if they could have held it together, everybody would have been free and paid. At least for that time, man. I don't know what have been going on now. But they would have got their hands on some millions. You know, feel me? And they would have motherfucking um, been free still. You know what I mean? At least... 
freer than they, you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking and shit. If that money would have started flowing in like it would have flown in, boy, all your shits was going number one and that nigga album, that shit would have been major, you know, feel me? Everything was wrong about that. Everything. Everything. Everything in that stew pot was wrong. It wasn't nothing right about that. You know, feel me? You had the super real rights and the real wrong. You can't put the oil and water together. You know, feel me? You see what it means, man. A mess. That's it. That's all it makes is a motherfucking mess. You dig? It's your boy, OG Shizzy Brizzle. We got to get it together out here, man. What's going on? Where's the morals and the principles and integrity at? Is it still around? We got to get our group back together, man. That's why, listen, man. That's why you see your boy with himself or his kids, man. It's your boy, Shizzy Lit Podcast. Of course, y'all know this, man. We going strong, man. Y'all need to come get along with the kids, baby. I'm out. Get it. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Bros. And everybody go check out Shizzy Lit Podcast on Spreaker.com if you are rock with your boy when he go live. But you can also catch me on any of your favorite streaming platforms. I'm everywhere, baby. Shizzy Lit Podcast, Shizzy Lit Vlogcast 2021. Holla at me. Yeah, dude.